don't believe is how the devil are you? Okay, today I just wanted to have a quick look at my uh, uh, field detecting bag. A couple of points to note here. The stuff that I mentioned in here will be in a link in the description below. These bags are kind of disposable to me. They last about two years and then they die and then I replace them with another one. This is going to be a mess and it is going to get absolutely trashed. That's what happens when you're out on muddy fields. You may feel that there's an unnecessary tone to this video, um, and I'll get into that in a second. It's because I come from a, a, a very much a, a military background. All my family are military. I never joined the army myself due to reasons I won't go into now, but I was obsessed. I was, I was in, I, obsessed with cadets. I was obsessed with outdoor uh, survival as a kid. Anyway, so when I was 17, I took an outdoor education course as well. Um, and that was, I got all of my canoeing certificates. I got all of my windsurfing certificates. Certificates. I got all of my uh, orienteering certificates. Uh, it was like a four-year course, but we also got like field medic certificates as well. And when we were trained in the orienteering and the field medic, we were trained by an ex SAS member. He did. He took care of all of that. And there's just been things that have stayed with me. So whenever I go out in the in the wide open, there's things in my bag that I never talk to anybody about it. I never. None of my friends know what's in my bag. But I'm going to go through it with you now. I just wanted to quickly explain why that is. So again, all the stuff is in a link in the description below let's get on with it my friends I think I'm being pursued Can you hear that chopper I think that's a I'm not entirely sure what that is oh look at that Whoa. that's military coincidentally wow look at that Oh, just one other thing to uh, additionally note there. Um, this is a bag that I'll use if I'm going into a big field. Um, typically, if I'm going into a small field, which is near a car, near my car, I'm only gonna be there for a short while. I'll use my smaller medics bag. This is if I'm going on a big trip. My filming equipment also goes in this bag as well. There's plenty of room in there. It's very, very light. Um, if you wanna know what I use filming equipment wise, there's a video right there. Go check that out. All fits beautifully in the bag. Right then, so the first thing I'm gonna start with here is this looks like a pair of pants doesn't it it's a this is a buff right so it's an elastic material and what it does is they're very very good for everything basically you can put them around your head um, you can use them as kind of like beanies you can like turn them into like a balaclava thing because they're really durable but the great thing about it is it's made of microfiber so in the winter it will keep you warm and in the summer it will keep you cool these are just small versatile bits of kit that are just good for loads and loads of stuff when you're on the field even cleaning fines as well if you want to use them for that I have loads of these I never leave the house without them obviously down here you can see a small digging implement it's just a cheapy I'm gonna sharpen this one I think yeah it's only a cheapy one I will sharpen it okay that's good that'll go actually go on my uh, trousers I'm just putting it here for aesthetic use really okay right here is obviously my pointer and my pointer holder right there so the holder is there so in the vain attempt of not losing another one hopefully this time I should be good this is uh, paracord and it's literally just clips in there it's this cord will come out and you can use it for tons and tons of things strap broken bags for example broken bits of metal detectors of course as well uh, but it's also got this like cutting implement on it which can be handy and it has a compass there obviously these days we have compasses on our phones don't we but that can be handy as well I've, there are have been situations where I've needed to use one of these and it's come in very handy okay let's go to the top pocket this is my self-defense part um, yeah, you're gonna giggle self-defense why do you need self-defense Mate. well you don't, you don't know what situation you're going to get in in the field that's not self-defense by the way that's just for, that's just a general pen knife with loads of stuff on it and it's good for cleaning out things and cleaning up things um it's just it's my granddad always said never leave the house without a pen knife and that's just stuck with me and there's been so many situations where a pen knife has come in very very handy in my life <laughs> second tree is uh just this Again, this is you, a lot of you are going to think this is overkill, but you don't know when you're going to get in a situation where you need to defend yourself. It's called it's called a uh, criminal identifier, um, and it's emergency use only. And what it does is is a red spray that doesn't come off skin for two weeks. <laughs> So if you need to identify somebody, somebody attacks you and identify you, uh, you need to identify them, then this is actually very, very handy stuff. But also the secondary to that, it's completely legal by the way, I'll put a, a link in the description below. But secondary to that is this stuff gets in your eyes, it hurts, it really, really hurts. And you're not gonna be uh, attacking anybody after you've got that in the old eyeballs. Right, so what do we have in here? 
Okay, so. Uh, just a general use lighter. They're just handy for everything. I don't smoke, um, but there's been so, so, so many situations where I've needed to make a, make a fire, for example. Um, again, that's kind of like a military thing to the side. This is invaluable when you're on the field. These things are brilliant. That's a battery, and it's just a USB there, and it plugs in so you can charge your phone on the move, or you can charge your cameras if you're making videos, uh, or you can charge absolutely everything. And they go, and they go, and they go. And you just, if you want to recharge this, you just plug it into your computer and never ever leave the house without this save that i'm in a situation where my car's broken down uh, i'm in the middle of nowhere my car's broken down my phone is losing and has lost battery lifesaver literally brilliant hello okay so in this little pouch here i hope you can see it okay yeah in this little pouch here uh it's just a it's a bit of an overkill for this pouch actually, so I'm gonna, I will fill it with other stuff. What else is in there? Oh, there's other stuff in there. Oh, there you go. So it's a just a tape measure. And then the other thing is just a small monocular. That sits in there as well. That's come in handy in the past when I've had to find Luke or Mark or Matt on the field because they are miles away. All right, okay then. So in this, now it's just tons of spare batteries obviously very very handy for those detectors and pointers that need spare batteries these are great this is just a little fishing tackle box and um, great for finds again link below really good um, you can keep coins in there you can get bigger ones so you can get, keep bigger coins in there this has worked out really well for me in the past so I don't lose stuff really really durable as well Okay, as you can see, there's tons of space in here. Just because, again, I'm gonna get my film gear in here, and also I'll get a flask and something to eat as well, additionally on top. So what's this? Oh, this is my, um, this is what people are probably gonna giggle at. This is my medic bag, it's a cleaning bag. So, wet wipes. Never leave the house without them. I do, I leave the house without them often. The best use for these is because they're so, gentle and they're so sensitive is cleaning fines they're brilliant just really nice to moist and it's not going to do any damage to the uh, to the object so these are really really good for cleaning stuff you know just general use bog roll it's good for just everything really this is just a cold blanket if you get caught again your car's broken down and um, this will keep you warm and stop you from going into hypothermia in theory anyway so i always have that on me as well and if one of my friends is injured or hurt and we're out in a really really cold area and we're waiting for an ambulance or a helicopter or whatever we we just need to wait and it's very very cold because we go out in some really extreme conditions we went at minus 10 up on top of that hill when i found that bronze age axe head if someone had hurt themselves one of these would be invaluable All right, and here's just my um here's my basic medic kit hand sanitizer which is great to keep you away from sepsis and whales and tetanus and all of those things is good just for generally this one seems like it's dehydrated actually i need to get a new one um in here is bandages i know how to use all of this again if a friend or myself gets unwell i will treat them just tons of bandages tons of plasters um, and here this uh, pill wise i've got obviously painkillers emodium um, general painkillers, uh, Pyroton, so that's for any type of allergy. Um, doesn't really work for me concerning hay fever, but there's a ton of other allergies you can get out there. Um, this is just paracetamol, there's cocodamol in there as well. And this is the Feel Lovely pill right there. <laughs> this will take all your pains away. Um, this is called the Big Bugger. The instances where I'll use this is if um, a friend or myself is in a situation where I need to alleviate pain quickly, just to move him or her, um, then I will give them this pill. I'm not, I'm not a doctor, but this is this will take away pain if they've pulled their knee ligaments or, or they're in all, you know, something really, really bad has happened to them. Then this one will get them where we need them to go. So that's ba that's my very, very basic medic kit. If I'm out doing um, urban exploration stuff, some of you guys know that we do that. I'll take a bigger kit. I've got a much bigger kit for that, and I did have to use it when Tom fell through that law that was bad um, and we used it then patch him up oh in here's just uh cough sweets and, uh, and polos uh, mints just to keep you going if you need beat i will supplement that with more 
stuff like dry biscuits and things. But as I said, this is um, just the new bag. Okay, and lastly, in this bag is my small survival kit, actually. This is, again, I, I feel that if I'm in a situation where I'm outside, I'm in, in a field, it's better be safe. And sorry, obviously nothing bad's gonna happen. And I never ever want to use any of this stuff on, on my friends or myself. And I've never, well, I have had to actually. There have been instances where I've had to clean up cuts. I've had to use the alcohol to clean up cuts. I've had to bandage myself. I've had to give other people plasters. Um, I've had to give other people um, the antihistamines. I've had to give other people paracetamol or cocoanamol. So, yeah. So, in this is just a general cord. I think that's a that, that's a, that, that looks like a condom. That's just if I get really lucky when I'm out on the field. It's not, that's actually a thing that you carry water in. It's knackered, I've got to replace that. That's a water purifier. Um, so you put that, the idea is, is you take that and you put the water in that from a dirty river, you put that in and that should pr purify the water. This is brilliant. This is a, uh, a flint fire lighter. Um, goes down the side there. This is the other part here. You move it down the side and you can um, create a fire. Here's that paracord stuff again that we were talking about before. Um, there's another another length of it there. Obviously a, uh, a compass there, um, a small torchy type thing. And in here is a cute, teeny, teeny, tiny, uh, sorry, it just fell out. I think it's the fire lighter. Fishing kit. Not gonna really need that, am I? Out on the field. But it has got safety pins in it, um, which will come in useful, trust me. Um, I need to put some more safety pins in there, actually. And in here we have just cotton, um, a this is like a sewing kit, uh, a surgeon's knife right there, clean scalpel. It's just one of those things that it's just got a, you know, a good mix of handy stuff in it. And it's really, really small. It doesn't matter if it's there or not, does it? Um, it's just handy and that goes in there like that and it shuts up and it just goes on the outside like vastly sits like I've had it for so long it's rusting so badly <laughs> so there you go my friends there's a quick look at my detecting bag there again I'll take a smaller pack if I'm doing something which is slightly closer which isn't out in the middle of nowhere also again uh, my film gear will fit in that and my food and beverages will fit in that. Anyway, what do you guys take with you when you go out metal detecting? Um, anything at all, stick it in the comments below. I'd be interested. I might even be able to nick some ideas. That would be cool. Um, learn something new, because I'm always learning. That's what you do when you're on planet Earth, isn't it? Anyway, uh, my friends, I shall see you in the next... What's going on here? There you go. I shall see you in the next video.